Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from the city of Angels, California. And for me today, I have two tins of the 2019-20 Upper Deck Series. So I have the Series 1 and the Series 2. I'm going to compare Series 1 to Series 2. So a couple of my videos may be a little bit out of order. I've been dealing with some personal uh, issues. Of one of my friends, his family has been struck really hard by the virus, uh, whereby four members of his family have died, plus a stillborn. And then my other friend had to be resuscitated um, after his heart stopping two minutes. And uh, we're, a bit, we're clinging to him and he's clinging to life. And it's been really hard. Uh, but I thought to brighten my spirits, I would pop these puppies open, compare and contrast them. So there you go. Okay, so configuration, eight cards per pack. Our packs per tin would be 72 cards per tin each. Uh, as we know, the base set uh, runs 200 cards and the Young Gun set runs 50 for both. So 500 cards total within these sets. We do get the tin exclusive OP cheese. So typically these tins deliver 2.2 uh, Young Guns as opposed to the three that it used to be. And the Upper Deck canvases are 1.5 in each tin. Uh, the Upper Deck portraits would be 1.5. Uh, jerseys exist, but they're nominal, um, and shooting stars exist on the left, not on the right, if I'm correct. Uh, of course, we do get three OPG update cards on the right. So that's basically, and then there's these massive hits like the Day with the Cup, etc. Of course, there are some variations and stuff. And of course, we know the rookies, which are Kako Kako and Jack Hughes and Kale McCarr and all the Victor Olufsen, Nick Suzuki, Fox. Zadina, Abramov, all of that. So let's let's pop these open. Let's see what we get. Okay, guys, time for the recap. So let us compare Upper Deck Series One tin versus Upper Deck Series Two tin from 2019-20. Uh, first and foremost, of course, we have our base cards. Blam! Look at all these base cards. Uh, you know, typical stuff. We're very sort of conversant in these. So we have this stack here for the Series 1. And then for the Series 2, we have this stack over here. And blam, right there. So those would be our two stackages. We did, by the way, receive one checklist for Series 1. Uh, I always find them sort of notable for whatever reason. Versus two checklists for Series 2. I find them notable because historically uh, checklists were hard to come by because people would discard them. So in vintage sets, they have some value. All right, so with regard to our OPG bonus pack, we do have Trent Frederick, Grunstrom, as well as the Kale McCarr. Kale McCarr, so that's not a bad one here on this side. And then on the other side, we actually have Gusev, who's been pretty formidable as well as Kirby Doc, who's excellent, and Barrett Hayden, who looks like he will be fantastic as well. So we have these three versus these, these three, very comparable, very similar. In terms of Series 1, we do have our Upper Deck Portraits. Here they are. We have Sveshnikov and we have Pierre Dubois, but these are base, right? They aren't uh, rookie cards, as we know, in Series 1. So that's a little bit of a distinction without a difference. And here is the difference. The difference is these are rookies. And we have Kubelik, who's just been on fire, as well as Bachfist. So these would be our Upper Deck Portraits, but they're rookies in Series 2. With regard to our canvas cards, uh, we received two of them in Series 1, and we have Anthony Siu, yes I do, and then Joy Decord. Uh, so this would be a Young Gun. So we actually hit a Young Gun. So this is a Young Gun canvas, which is kind of cool and neat and spectacular. And then in terms of our Young Gun canvas in Series 2, we actually hit Clem Costin, who was a first rounder. He was the 31st overall in 2017. Uh, so that's not bad. Joy Decord uh, is more of a long shot. I think it was a seventh rounder. And then with regard to Young Guns in Series 1, we do have Brandon Gignac, who I believe is a third rounder, and Joel Esperance out of Michigan, who was undrafted. So these are our two Young Guns here. Uh, middling, but uh, nonetheless. And then with regard to our Series 2, we do have two second rounders in Grunstrom and Gustafsson. One was a 60th, one was a 57th, I think, in different years. In 2017 and 16, I believe, something to that effect. Uh, bang, so these would be our two. We actually did hit one of the UD game jerseys. Uh, these are actually rare. It was one of the first packs I opened, um, so that's kind of cool. I think it's Group E, but it's hard to hit these, like 12% of the time within these tins, so I'll take it. Uh, I'll place that right over here. Finally on the right, uh, we did receive our OPG cards, and that's sort of the benefit of Upper Deck Series 2. Uh, they always kind of 
give us these bonus cards. So even though we didn't hit the game jersey, we hit a gold border. I think those are 4% of the time. We hit the Varlamov um, Retro. So we have those two cards. I'll just place these puppies up in the soup over there. And the benefit again would be the fact that there are a couple of the marquee rookies up in it as well. So we have the Connor Timmins and we have the Emil Bemstrom. So these are just bonuses, the fact that we get those as well. And we are promised a good 1.5 marquee rookie, so we received two. So that was kind of fun, man, comparing them quickly side by side in a recap. I always want to do that. Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, and we are going to do the hashtag dry and draw now. So going back some three months. Uh, so what I did do is I filtered your comments uh, through hashtag dry So anything that had been hashtag dry would be in here, including your comments, but most importantly, your names. Uh, so there's a ton of lines in here, like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of lines. Uh, what I'll do is I'll randomize it three times and whoever's name, not their comment, whoever's name is closest to the top uh, shall be victorious and win the cards. So let me just do this, I'll do it right now. Uh, don't worry about all the comments, just worry about the name randomizing three times. Here we go. Here's one. So Tyson Pryor, you are not the winner winner chicken dinner. Uh, two. And let's see who's at the top here. Again, it's Louis Felix. Oh, it's Victor Summers. You have not won. And whoever's at the top will be the winner. And it is Douglas Hutton. Douglas Hutton, you are the winner. Man, you have won. Did you win before? It almost seems like you've won before. You almost won before or something. Uh, yeah, you are the winner. Uh, so know that all your comments were in here. You all had a decent shot and it just didn't materialize except for our man. So please be sure, uh, Douglas, Douglas Hutton, please be sure to um, get me your address, your snail mail address through Instagram or through Facebook and I will pop you over some nice cards. You deserve them. You are the winner. Uh, so I happen to be Fulton Cards. Please be sure to sub like and hashtag Dryden. I happen to be Fulton Cards Live and Direct from the City of Angels, California. Didn't I give you everything?